made safely back to Boca Chica, to civilization. The first thing we did was um, buy beer, because here in the store in Boca Chica, there's really nothing else you can get, right? Right. You've got like potatoes and beer and chips, Old basically. Potatoes. Old potatoes. We wanted to provision today, and we had like all these plans what we're gonna do, but we just ended up doing boat work all day long. And as a matter of fact, Cleveland is still working on the boat, trying to repair a fan because it's so damn hot here at night. And um, he's not really having a great time right now. He's got a sister ship to Zingaro. You, you saw that already in another video. And I don't think he actually realized how much work it's gonna be out cruising. You guys guess in what part of the boat Cleveland is right now. And I'm gonna open a beer and watch him suffer. <laughs> I hate these f***ing tubes, too. All right, I'm going in upside down. Oh, God, this is painful. Ugh. Why? Why, God? Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Oh, oh, great, you've got a f***ing camera in my face. Okay. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is pay-per-view, dude. <laughs> uh. Alright, it's not so bad now. Hand me the camera, we'll see what I'm doing. Alright. This is what I'm trying to do. Gotta get this fan. Alright, so I'm gonna touch this, let me know if the fan starts. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Touch it. Uh, it's, it's touched. Oh, wait, wait, I got to turn on it. <laughs> well, wait, wait, maybe that was off, I don't know. Touch uh, it? It's touched. Okay, that's not the one then. Oh, come on. Oh, do the other one. Turn the hard lights on. Oh, wait a minute, yeah, hold on. Now it's live, look out. Look at this don't thing I'm squeezed through, this hey, sucks. Don't, it's live now. Great. You could die. You ready? Yeah. Go ahead. It's touched. Yeah! Okay. This is boat life right here. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, this is working better. This is working better. I I really appreciate that this screwdriver has some sort of magnetic thing going on and it's holding Oh yeah, look at that. The screw nicely. That's the only saving grace of this whole freaking operation. All right. Ah, uh, can I get the can I get the camera a little more in your way? <laughs> Turn it on. Am I gonna cut the gun? Turn it on. Oh. Maybe. No, I'm not touching it. Uh, yeah. Nicely done, sir. There we go. You are the man. Oh, Can you go in there and see if there's any uh, deck rot or go ahead and just squeeze through that hole around those tubes? This is the whole area I've been working on in the last like year too. And you don't like the tubes? No. Yeah, oh, these like things? Either. Yeah. No, that's the stupidest idea I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, well, I'm stuck and I live here now, so. <laughs> we'll feed you some gnocchi. Yeah, just make sure you give me plenty of water and. <laughs> cool. Well, I'm glad you guys have a fan. Ow. Oh, God, it's like this rusty tank just digging into my chest. Oh, my tender underbelly. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> that's like a thing with boats, though. Is there's always some tiny spot that's just barely big enough to fit in that you have to like. You cannot be claustrophobic, which I am. <laughs> so you just have to jam yourself in there and get the job done. And the whole time you just have to think about how sweet, sweet that fan is going to be afterwards because it's so damn hot at night. I'm taking a shower. I don't care how much fresh water it takes. So that's just one job. That was for a fan. He went through that for a fan. Tell the viewers at home what's happening. I don't really know what's happening. We're either heading off to Hawaii, to Costa Rica, or we're gonna go on the islands within the next four days. Um, pretty much everything is open here. We either leave Lucy here in Panama, we take Cleveland with us to Hawaii, we, it's the chaos here. <laughs> it really is. So Lucy's coming back in three days. Cleveland's leaving in seven days. I need to go to an embassy, to a U.S. embassy. And you actually really need a real... Need a real visa to go to Hawaii. I hate paperwork for countries. This is the worst part of cruising for me. 
All right, so we're going to uh, into the town in Boca Chica from Carlos's Marina. We had been here before, but I'd never been at the marina, so we have exactly four and a half hours to get back here, and it's like an hour and a half bus ride, or else there's no more buses. So <laughs> we're beating feet. El Mercato, Spanish for market. The one and only store in Boca Chica, and uh, they have potatoes, onions, sometimes they have plantains, but that's all the produce. Oh, they, they have uh, pasta now. Yeah, pasta. Okay, so we don't have to get pasta. Oh, it's full now. Ice cream they have. That was empty the other day. This would be like chicken, frozen chicken. And here's our bus ride. Because this little market doesn't have much food, we're taking the bus to the next big town, David. It's about two hours away, and it's the capital of the state we're in, Chiriqui. Even grocery shopping is an adventure. It's going to be an all-day thing, which... Yeah, we don't have jobs. <laughs> this is our receipt. <laughs> we just spent $360 on food. We're getting loaded in there. So we survived the supermarket experience. Well, it took, it took way longer to eat like Now it's too late to go to the bus, so we have to get a taxi. It cost us 35 bucks, but it's not going to So we made it. Boca Chica, Panama. You got some good stuff, guys. All this stuff. You ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay. Now there's four feet. I think I have room to pull that back. Okay, so James and Kimmy are taking a nap. I'm making breakfast. Sailing nicely. It's a beautiful day. Perfect conditions. Oh, looks like we caught a fish! What is it? Oh, it's James! Ah! <laughs> Oh, it looks like I can come up. We left Boca Chica once again after filling up about the main or the on fish? everything, really. Okay. You yeah. guys should see this. We've never yeah. had so much food. We're, we're, we're ready, ready to leave to Hawaii, really. All kinds of stuff. Down. Vegetables, so many vegetables. There's more here, like a whole bag of it. Avocados, plantains we make patacones out of. That's a very typical dish here. Passion fruit, maracuyas. You probably haven't seen that in the States before. We're messing with the mainsail because still the, the roach is causing some problems for us. It's too much and it doesn't fit underneath the stay, so we have to reef it two and a half times. Yeah, that's pretty much what we've been doing today. We're going back to Isla Secas, where we've been spearfishing the last time. You guys remember probably from past episodes. And yeah, not very windy, but enough. I'm having to like pull the boom all the way to the windward, pull on the sheet, the sail, so it, the battens will clear the stay. And then, look at Tarzan over here. This is oh god, I left sailing! Why do you want to do this again? Oh, the beach! We got to go to the beach for like 10 minutes! <laughs> <laughs> I love seeing you Almost there, buddy, almost there! You're almost there! Couldn't we go ahead to wind? <laughs> well, I'm as far up as I can get right now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna head to wind. Okay. Nice job. Nicely done, sir. It's 
So I cut dinner and we are now back on our way to Boca Chica to drop Cleveland off and to meet Lucy again. She's coming from Chile. The time we spent in the States, James and me, she was in Chile meeting her friends. I'm excited to see her again. There was quite a bad mood today on the boat, but now that we have the sails up again, the thing is better. The trigger fish was a big one this time. That's all the filet of one fish. Cleveland said he's gonna make us fish tacos. If not, we're just gonna just gonna bread the fish and yeah, lunch. <laughs> the girl went out and got all of the fish today, which was one giant trigger fish. Thank you, baby. So we're cooking her fish tacos. These were a good idea. I see you speak grunts, sir. So we just made it back. Cleveland's leaving tomorrow and the dinghy engine won't start. So we can't get a taxi because I don't have any minutes on my phone. And we're pretty much screwed unless we get this fucker started. Go, buddy, go. You like this boat, don't you? I fucking hate this dinghy. <laughs> like, more, this is my least favorite boat of all time. <laughs> Calling it a boat is generous. <laughs> hey! <laughs> She can hear you. She might just sink while you're, while you're inside. Wouldn't fucking surprise me. <laughs> you mean sink faster? <laughs> I love how this plastic thing that's just sitting on here... Hits like, you in the knuckles. It's gonna hit you in the neck and shit. <laughs> that's just like an added... Oh great, yeah, you're filming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Cleveland feels the pain. I, I find that very heartwarming because I've been dealing with this. I've been I've been dealing with this for a year and a half. You only have to deal with it for another uh, like six hours. So it's about uh, six o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna be heading out pretty soon uh, for my taxi, and I just wanted to say a few things. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you so much to uh, James and Kim for having me out on Zangaro. It has been the adventure of a lifetime. Um, I watch a lot of sailing on YouTube, um, like I'm sure many of you guys do. Uh, I've been a lifelong sailor. I thought I knew what cruising would be like. I've never been cruising before, and I didn't know. The, their videos make it look so much easier than it really is. It is incredibly difficult. Something broke almost every day, I would have to say. Something broke. You know, they say like, cruising is fixing your boat in exotic places and that's that's absolutely true like every every day was fixing something because something broke and that can be really frustrating when you're living la vida broca <laughs> everyone who's a patron for these guys they really really appreciate it um so if you've been thinking about doing you know a couple bucks for these videos they work really really hard to make it happen um I mean, yeah, it's great. You, you know, it, you're out here in beautiful places like Panama behind me, um, but you know, you're always working. You're always filming. You're always editing. You're always leaving the beautiful places to go find internet somewhere. Um, it it is not easy. You know, you got to sail. You know, the wind can be blowing perfectly all week and then the one day that you've got to go back because you're almost out of water or you're almost out of food 
and you've got a cat you've got a spearfish because you've got to catch some fish to eat something because you're super hungry <laughs> and the wind is now blowing the exact wrong direction and you know you've got to tack a million times to get back and you're trying to get up a river that is you know going to be super dark and you're not going to be able to see anyway i'm just saying that it's it's hard it's much much harder and it takes a very special kind of person to be able to do this this has been the adventure of a lifetime you get to see some amazing things i've seen eels and snakes and a million different kinds of fish uh, i learned to clean fish to spear fish um, i've learned a lot more about sailing uh, you know i've got the same kind of boat as him so learned a lot more about sailing this kind of boat and not just not just racing, not just cruising inshore, you know, in San Francisco Bay, stuff like that. It's dirty. I've been here for two weeks. I just took a shower before I hop on my taxi to get out of here, but I was just filthy the whole time. I mean, you're hauling up your anchor. It's, it's so dirty. I don't know where all the dirt comes from, but you're just so dirty all the time. And fresh water is, is the most important resource you have. It is uh, like gold. Um, so being able to take a shower is really awesome. Um, what else? It's hot as hell. It is hot as hell down here. Just so sweaty all the time. You know, no AC. I worked really hard to fix some fans and they just broke again immediately. We don't know why. <laughs> That's cruising. And so you just either have to sleep outside and when you're in a river like this, you know, there's bugs and there's dew and it's not easy to sleep outside. So you have to sleep inside and there's no fans and it's really, really hot. And, you know, it's the life you choose, but it's hard. And so there's a, a good bit of trade off with uh, the amount of freedom that you get of being able to choose. Like, but at the same time, you know, it's it's tough because they're, they're here, they're not sure if they're going to go. They want to go to Hawaii, but, you know, they need to redo the rig. They need to haul the boat. Um, they don't hold that much gas or water. So there's so many considerations. You know, we wanted to go to Costa Rica, but we couldn't do that because you need yellow fever vaccinations and, like, original boat paperwork that they need to have faxed down here. And... So then plans change, like maybe we'll go down to Ecuador. You know, it's just, it's, there's so many considerations into everything you do and you have to be really fluid and you have to be able to go with the flow. And, um, you know, I really admire these guys for what uh, they're able to do out here because they make it look a lot easier. And I know some of you are probably thinking like, no, there's no way, like, it, it, you know, it looks so hard already. Like, no, they're not filming when things get hard. They're not filming when the clue sheet on the asymmetric spinnaker grabs the fishing pole and throws it in because it was the one time I forgot to tie it off, you know. It's just, it's incredibly difficult. And, um, yeah, I uh, just want to say thanks again. And if any of you are thinking about becoming a patron, do it. later buddy hey we match <laughs> <laughs> it's been awesome i love you man this guy's a legend lifetime of adventure it's unbelievable we had a good time thank yeah. you for everything you're a good sailor man i hope you uh get that boat fixed up and use it someday the doors have stopped swinging in a cold and dark saloon